Prehistoric people had no cities, central governments, or systems of writing. This makes it especially difficult for us to learn about how they lived. Without written records, scientists must depend on other evidence to learn about the prehistoric past. Usually they work with artifacts like tools and pottery. But in 1991, they got a lucky break. Hikers in the Alps stumbled on the body of a man, mummified and frozen, melting out of the ice. But this wasn't the body of one of the hikers who go missing every year in this Alpine region. This was a man who had died more than 5,000 years ago. He's the oldest human mummy ever found, a man 5,300 years old. Scientists call him Utsi, or the Ice Man. An arrowhead lodged in the ice man's back suggested that he was murdered. Utsi was an immediate archaeological sensation. Research teams eagerly studied both the mummy and his incredibly well-preserved gear. The next check now. A copper axe, an unstrung bow with a quiver of arrows, a flint knife, leather shoes, a woven grass cloak, and goatskin leggings. Could these remains tell them who he was, how he lived, and why he died up here in the mountains? Many researchers thought that Utsi must have been an alpine shepherd, leading goats and sheep to high altitude pastures in the summer. Shepherds today still herd livestock along the same path where Utsi was found. If Utsi was a shepherd, perhaps he was murdered for his sheep. Anthropologists Hans Platzgumer and Sylvia Reinhard and archaeologist Anna Pedrotti decided to test this theory. They started by making an exact duplicate of Utsi's clothes. When they were done, Hans donned the outfit he would find out firsthand whether it could have held up to the tough life of an alpine shepherd. As Hans set off up the mountain on foot, Sylvia and Anna took an easier route by helicopter. For Hans, it was a grueling 4,000-foot climb to duplicate the Iceman's journey. From the mountaintop, Sylvia and Anna could see that Hans was having trouble. Modern-day shepherds use shovels to help them climb. Hans resorted to using the Iceman's axe. At last, he arrived exhausted. The three researchers examined the gear to see how it withstood the climb. His shoes were a disaster. They had no traction and they didn't keep out the water at all. But the cloak felt as warm as a winter jacket. The mysterious unstrung bow became the perfect climbing staff and the copper axe helped Hans anchor himself on steep sections of the climb. But the poor performance of the shoes is the clincher. This experiment went very good because it's the first time that we had the idea that we use the bow and also the axe uh, for climbing up. And also we see that the shoes are totally broken and it's wet inside. And this is the result of the experiment that's very good. The poor performance of the shoes indicated that Utsi probably wasn't a shepherd. Someone wearing shoes like this couldn't make a 4,000-foot mountain climb regularly. But if Utsi wasn't a shepherd, why was he up here? One possibility is that Utsi was involved in a fight in the valley below, was badly wounded, and fled up the mountain where he died. In the years ahead, researchers will continue to study Utsi, 
They are confident that in time, the Iceman will reveal the story of his life and death. The Iceman was an important archaeological find because he was A. Dressed in a grass cloak B. Murdered C. Found in the Alps D. Well preserved The researchers decided that Utsi was not a shepherd because A. There were no goats buried around him B. His shoes would not have withstood the alpine terrain. C. His axe was made of copper. D. He did not have a shepherd's crook. Imagine that you are an archaeologist. Write three questions that might be answered by studying the mummified remains and artifacts of Utsi.